Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Sean from RideSharing101.com. Hey, please do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment if you uh, if you so desire, I'd really appreciate it. The good folks at YouTube tell me um, the more likes and subscriptions that uh, I get, the uh, the more popular the channel will be, so, um, and I'd love that. Uh, today is the 30th and tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I wanted to talk to you about whether or not it's worth it to work on New Year's Eve. And a lot of it depends on where you're at, but for here in the San Francisco Bay Area, my response would be no, it's not really worth it because the BART Bay Area Rapid Transit, otherwise known as the subway, and the buses will run till I think about two o'clock and they run for free. So people have a freeway um, of getting around. Um, not freeway the road, but it's free for them to travel, is what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm battling a cold and I'm easily amused anyway. But, um, but so there's a lot of people that will drive on New Year's and they think, oh, I can make a ton of money. And what happens basically is it's actually pretty slow because you're competing with so many people on New Year's that they're really there really isn't any business. All that changes at about 12.01. One minute after midnight, there's a huge amount of surge and it lasts for about 20 minutes because a lot of people are like, okay, it's midnight, we made it, going home. And usually though, that only, it, you only realize that in like one ride. So you wait all this time to, um, to get one ride at surge and you know yeah you could get a good ride but the rest of the night is really really slow everybody thinks they're going to make a lot of money and if you've got a like a private uh gig set up where you're doing something where somebody's out kind of in the boonies and you make arrangements to pick them up and you know you you negotiate that in advance then yeah you can do quite well limos i'm sure will do quite well but that's kind of a different business model so my advice would be just um, drive in the morning if you can and don't worry about driving at night. If you really, really have to, log on at midnight, get that one good juicy fare and then call it quits. But you're going to be dealing with a lot of drunk people and that's not something I, I like to do. Actually, uh, January 1st is my 30 year sobriety anniversary. So I really don't want to think about people throwing up in my car or getting sick or any of that fun stuff. So I will not be driving. Um, I might drive until like, you know, for dinner in case people are going to go out and eat something, but uh, I'm not going out after, after six. So, um, just a little suggestion. You might want to, um, to sort of plan accordingly. All right. That's it for uh, this vlog. Take care. Stay away from the drunken idiots if you can and drive safe. Be good. See you next vlog.